next is availability of natural resources i am not saying that all the natural resources were available in england but the english companies who are ruling in few countries or the england had many colonies in the world so these colonies supplied raw material to the in industries of england just like india india was a supplier of raw cotton and jute for the english industries same way america was also supplying next england developed a large shipping industry shipping industry so england had and that helped england to transport goods and man from one place from england to other part of the world easily and it was the cheapest mode of transportation and with the help of shipping industries england captured many countries in that time and england brought raw materials and slaves from other parts of the world to england to work in industries <coughs> the next one so these were the reasons why industrial revolution began in england next is impact of industrial revolution what were the impact first is mass production of variety of goods due to with the help of machine the industries english industries produce unlimited amount of variety of goods and surplus goods they sold to the colonies or other part of the world and that brought huge profit to them and this has also brought a system in england that is called capitalism means where the private persons or producers private producers have the power to produce goods and services and use the natural resources and these producers became very rich whereas the workers were related only with the wages they were not related or to get any thing from the profit next rise of new towns and cities wherever the industries set up in england whichever part what happened the workers were not supposed to go back to their home and come every day and work why because workers had to work almost 15 to 16 hours every day so what did happen near around the factory the market and the quarters of worker constructed and this you can say later on changed into towns and cities and the population shifted from rural area to towns so this was another important uh, impact of industrial revolution that new towns and cities grew up in england <coughs> people came closer third
England was carrying business with the many countries. So that is why the English businessmen, they met with different peoples and what happened? Because of economic purpose, the people came closer and it was another impact that it developed a feeling of international trade. It developed a feeling or a system of international trade. Next, it led to the rise of concentration of economic power in few hands. Rich people or the producers who were the owners of the factory, they made huge profit and they were concerned only for their profits. And that is why they exploited the workers and the resources. And they tried that the economic power should be in their hand. Or you can say that the workers, they had very meager wages. So their life was not so good. They had a miserable life. Whereas the owners of the factories, they had a luxurious life. And the economic power was concentrated only with few hands. It was not distributed among all. And next impact that factory workers, they were living around the factory. Their quarters were just near to the factory, but they did not have facilities of water, drainage, sanitation, <coughs> as well as they, some of the houses were very congested, means they were not getting proper sunlight means they were living in inhuman condition it has also brought and that is why many times the revolt happened and due to pressure of workers changes introduced in england factory laws made by the government to provide relief to the workers and the last impact is rise of socialism and communism Industrial revolution has introduced capitalism. Capitalism is not untouched with evils. There are many evils. Why? Because it, the first thing it is that every human being should think about only profit. So there were many activities which had finished the morality of human beings. There were, there were evils in capitalism. That is why two stop capitalism other economic system introduced and that is called socialism thank you